Uh, I'm just with the creators of Gin e-bikes. Would you like to introduce yourselves? Hi guys, I'm Rahul. Hi guys, and I'm Marina. We are the founders of Gin X e-bike. So yeah, they've just come to drop off this bike for me to review. Uh, I've got it for the next few days. So yeah, stay tuned. We're going to do a review on the bike. Uh, go for a little ride, test out all the features. So yeah, stay tuned. So I've had the bike for about a day now. The guys at Jin uh, came and dropped the bike off to me yesterday. Wonderful guys. You saw them in the intro for the video. So yeah, I'm really, really impressed with this e with this e-bike. Um, I've been shopping for an e-bike for over a year now. I've been doing loads of research. I've test rided a few of them. And I have to say, I'm really, really quite impressed with this bike for the price. For the price, it's, it is pretty, pretty good, mate. Um, there aren't that many bikes you can compare it to for the price, to be honest. For the specs, anyway. So, I'm just going to run through some of the things that this bike has. Um, so, let's start with the motor. It has a Bafang 250 watt brushless motor. Um, it's really quite powerful. I've ridden it a few times now. Uh, it has Shimano gears. It has the Shimano Altus derailleur and the seven speed, uh, uh, seven speeds, seven gears. If it wants to focus, there we go. That's so got seven speed. Ignore the, uh, the quad lock. I just put that on there so that when we go out later to do some riding, I've got that on there. No, it doesn't come with that. Um, it has a large 20, tw uh, 48 volt 614 watt hour Tesla grade uh, battery cell. The battery pack sits inside the frame in here. Um, to get the battery out, you need a key, there's a power switch, there's a fuse, um, things you can turn it off. Uh, the battery port to charge it is just there. Um, you can take the battery out and charge the battery while it's out as well. Uh, it's really quite a big battery. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the key for this bike. I forgot to, uh, I forgot to get it off Rahul. Uh, before he left, I was meant to get it off him, but I forgot. Um, so I can't take the battery out. Or, but um, there are other reviewers that have reviewed this bike that have taken the battery out. And I'm sure if you're really interested in buying this bike, you won't just be checking out my review. You'll check out some other reviews. So if you want to have a look at that, you can uh, obviously review some other reviews on this bike and see what the battery is like once it's out. But yeah, it's quite a large battery, to be honest. It, it pretty much fills the entire frame there. Uh, it is. Uh, they say the, the range is between 50 and 70 miles, depending on how you ride it, obviously. So it has got a very good range, uh, more than enough for me, anyway. Uh, it has Zoom hydraulic disc brakes, um, and the brakes are really good. They're pretty much similar to what to what you get on the Suron, to be honest. Uh, I think they're. Four caliper maybe brakes. The ones on the Suron are, so I'm guessing these are as well. Uh, they look like pretty good brakes, to be honest. Um, Zoom are a decent company as well. So yeah, what else? We have uh, CST Jack Rabbit um, hybrid tires. So they're 17 and a half inch, and then they're two and a half, 2.1 inch wide hybrid tires. So they're called hybrid tires because they're Kind of a cross between road tyres and off-road tyres. You can use them for both, and they will work pretty well on both. Uh, you have some pretty beefy suspension. I'm not sure what company makes this suspension, to be honest. Um, but yeah, from from what I rode earlier uh, yesterday, the suspension felt pretty good as well. So up here we have a large screen that has all your settings. 
actually hold down this M button, the screen will turn on. So there's five five speed settings. Uh, if you press the up button, you go to two, three, four, five. Um, so there are two. You can keep the bike on on a setting that is locked to keep it on to keep it at legal speed limits um, for when you're riding on the road. And then you can actually unlock the bike to make it faster when you're riding on private land. Uh, so I'll just read through the. Um, I'll just go through the speeds that you can do on each setting. Uh, I'll try and put a um, a little um, a screenshot on the screen of of the uh, speeds so that you can see them. So when it's locked for legal roads, for legal riding, in speed in a in a setting one, it will go to six miles an hour, ten kilometers. In speed in setting two, it will go to nine point three miles an hour. In setting three, it will go to 11.2 miles an hour. In setting four, it will go to 12.4 miles an hour. And in setting five, it will go to 15 and a half miles an hour, which is the requirements by law. Um, when it is unlocked in setting five, it will go to 19.8 miles an hour. In setting four, it will go to 17.3 miles an hour. In setting three, it will go to 15.5 miles an hour. In setting two, it will go to 12.4 miles an hour. And in setting one, it will go to 9.3 miles an hour. And that is with it unlocked. So it, 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 it will go faster than what is uh, legally allowed. Um, I'll, as I said, I'll, I'll try and put a, a little screenshot of those numbers on the screen so that people can see the conversions to kilometers an hour as well and if you didn't get that um, also one more thing to mention the bike comes with a headlight uh, it does come with a tail light unfortunately on this model the tail light is broken um, but it does come with a tail light if you look at their website you'll see what the tail light looks like uh, it also comes with front and back fenders unfortunately on this test bike I have to state this is just the test bike uh, sorry for the menu for the noise of my neighbours. Yeah, I have to state this is just a test bike. Uh, it is. There are some things that may be slightly different on the one that you get when you buy it. Uh, so yeah, um, it comes with front and back fenders, which are not on this bike, unfortunately. But if you go to the website, you'll see exactly what they look like. Um, it comes with the throttle. So this is the throttle. You're not really legally allowed to use it. Um, I don't think, or you can use it. In, you can legally use it in setting one. In setting one, you can legally use the throttle because of the speed limit that it's set to. Um, and also, this bike has a walking, a walking mode. Um, one more thing I must mention: this this seat is the upgraded seat. On their website, they do offer quite a few upgrades to this bike. So this is the the upgraded seat. This is not the standard seat. It's the upgraded, slightly more comfortable seat. The, uh, the standard seat is a bit thinner uh, and not so cushioned. Uh, what else? There are three versions of this bike. This this version I have here is the cheapest, the lowest version. Um, it is currently on sale at £999, which is a really, really, really good deal. Um, just because it is just launched, it is on, on at a sale price, at that price. Um, so the second version is £1,049, and that comes with um, a rear rack. That goes over the back here, it comes with the rear rack. And then there's another version for £1,090, and that comes with the rear rack and the pannier bags. Um, so they're the three versions, all, all three really cheap. Um, I would probably go with the, the one with the rack and the panniers, just so you have the option. It's only an extra what, £91. So yeah, that is that is the uh, run through of the bike um, and all its features and stuff. So we're just going to go out for a ride now. I'm going to get get my beer on.
we'll go for a little ride. We'll do some road riding. I've got a, a really big, oh, not really big, but I've got quite a steep hill. That is about three, four miles from my house, I think. Um, so we'll go do that hill. And then there's a forest as well. That is probably the same, dis similar distance to, to the hill. Um, so we'll go do some riding through the forest as well. Let's see how it goes. I did manage to find my GoPro that I haven't used. I haven't used it in probably over two years. So I did manage to dig that out. So my GoPro only has eight minutes of uh, recording time. So hopefully we'll try and get some decent footage on the GoPro. Um, but if that doesn't work out, we'll just have to use my phone and the quad lock mount that we've got. So yeah, let's go. Next clip you'll see will be out riding. What's going on, people? So we're just filming on the Gen X now, out on the road. Just using the quad lock to film me. So it is a bit shaky, unfortunately. Yeah, I've been using it in five pretty much the whole time I've been riding. Um, it's crazy, the battery percentage started on like 75% and I just want to left it's now on 60%. I've done probably three miles, two, three miles, maybe a bit less. It's down to 60, but it keeps coming, going up and coming down because of the, um, when you use it, the battery percentage drops. So I just did the hill and the battery percentage just went way down to like 30%. But then when I got over the hill, it was fine. So we're going to do a couple of hills now, so you'll see that when I put the GoPro on, what it's like I'm talking about. So yeah, we'll switch to the GoPro now. got the GoPro on my head. Um, unfortunately, the, the footage is going to be pretty shaky, and the audio is probably going to be rubbish, because I don't have a microphone plugged in. So you're just going to be getting the audio of me talking like this. So... Unfortunately, audio will be pretty bad. I'll have to apologise for that. You might have to use headphones. Will probably be the best way to watch this. And yeah, unfortunately, I can't do nothing about the shaking. <laughs> I just had to put the GoPro on my head like this. It's freezing today. Um, unfortunately, I left my helmet, um, my bike helmet, I left somewhere else. So I'm just gonna have to do best we've got. We've only got the bike for one more day. So um, yeah, we'll film like this. And hope you enjoy it. We're gonna go up, up the forest, up in the forest, up the hill. It's a pretty steep hill. Um, at the top, it gets really steep. Uh, we'll ride around at the top maybe for a, for a bit, and then we'll ride back down. And then we're gonna go and hit uh, road. We're gonna do a bit of road riding. We're gonna go up a really or down a really steep hill, and then back up that as well. And then one more hill probably, and then we'll head back home. Yeah. In a bit. So we're just going to ride through this forest path now up to the top of this hill. I'm just checking myself on my camera to make sure my GoPro is in the right position. So we're going to start riding up the hill now. I've got the bike in pedal assist 1. We're at 75% battery. Yeah, so this is going to be a good test for the See how the frame is, see how the suspension is, see what the tyres are like on this uh, off-road setting. Um, see what the balance of the bike is like, the weight and stuff like that. So we started off in one, uh, now switched up to level two. Uh, this just is nice. I really like the sound of the motor. So it's gone up to level three now. percentage has dropped down to 30% it's getting pretty steep now so yeah the battery percentage has gone down the suspension is pretty pretty good a little bump there after there suspension did handle it pretty well yeah, we've gone up to level 5 now uh, it's pretty steep now the hill, the hill gets really steep now Battery's gone down to 30%. Uh, 
um, hardly pedaling like I'm pedaling really slightly the motor's doing most of the work it is still quite it is really steep so um, I'm pedaling really slowly just to see how, how the motor's handling it I'm not I'm trying not to pedal as much as I can see what the motor does the motor got me up fine it was very slow as you could see like it would have been a lot quicker if I had pedaled but I wasn't pedaling at all I was just pedaling enough for the motor to kick in to give me the assist because I want to see um, how it do so we flattened out now suspension handled it pretty well motor did most of the work as I said battery percentage has gone up to 53 so yeah if you're looking to do a lot of hills with this bike like if you've got a lot of hills on your journey I don't know how, how, how it would handle it it would probably cane the battery a lot but yeah as I said it's gone back up to 53 now just gonna head back down the little hill a bit test the brakes test the suspension going a bit faster gonna hit the brakes now yeah stop on the dime brakes are really really good uh, the bike doesn't have regen unfortunately so you don't it doesn't have that slow down slowing down feeling like my Seron the regen uh, just gonna cut the camera off now I think and then we're gonna head back up the hill and I'll do some filming up the top Yeah, this is a good good test for the suspension and feel the bike. The fight, bike feels really balanced. Uh, the weight is doesn't have doesn't cause any problems. So yeah, I'm just gonna cut off the camera now. Go up the hill, do a bit of riding on this bumpy bumpy surface. Yeah, it handles it really well. Uh, I I would hundred hundred percent recommend the upgraded seat. say now yeah the upgraded seat is a must I haven't tried the regular seat but the upgraded seat is really really comfortable just gonna do a little bit of riding up on the top of the hill now so you can see like what the bumpiness is right is like um, just hit a really big bump there <laughs> I wasn't looking what I was getting um, but like the bike as I'm about to show you does have a horn I don't know if I play it now or in a minute. Bike does have a horn. It has a USB port underneath the screen as well. So if you need to charge your phone or whatever, you can do that. Yeah. This is really, really bumpy here, as you can see by the shakiness of the GoPro, and it handles it handles it really well. It's not a proper um, off-road bike as such, but it can do it. If you want to do a bit of off-roading with it, it's perfectly fine. Um, my mate had a guy on the bike, uh, he weighs uh, just over 100 kilos, or about 100 kilos, and he said the bike felt perfect, he didn't feel any problems with it, um, felt sturdy, didn't didn't feel like any rattles or any shakiness or anything like that. He said he, he really enjoyed his time on the bike, he really loved the handlebars, the, um, the grip. So yeah, we're just going to hit the road now, I'm going to go down this, this hill. On the on the tarmac, it is a pretty steep hill as you're about to see. I'm gonna go down the hill and then come back up the hill. The bike's now on 47% after doing that ride in. Uh, we started out 75, uh, and now at 47. Going down the hill, as you can see, the road surface is not great. It's really bumpy and it handles it perfectly well. Front suspension handles it nicely. The seat handles it perfectly well yeah don't have to really slow down for the speed bumps or anything like that yeah felt really comfortable on the road I had a good time just gonna turn around here go up the hill see what the battery percentage does I'm gonna stay in pedal assist 5 so yeah we're in pedal assist 5 
the scarf in the moon. Hit a big pothole there. Bike handled it well. But that was quite a big pot, quite a deep pothole. Tires had to get perfectly well. Uh, the battery's gone down to 15% now as we're hitting this steep, steep bit of the hill, the steepest bit. Went down to 15%, 14 miles an hour. So yeah, the motor did pretty well, 14 miles an hour. Perfectly acceptable speed. I was pedaling obviously, but I wasn't pedaling hard, I was letting the motor do most of the work to see how it's doing. Flattening out now. And the uh, battery percentage is starting to climb up. I'm going to do this lift. Battery percentage has now gone up to 43%. Yeah, 43%. We're going to go down this road here. It's got speed bumps the whole way down, so we can see how the bike feels on all the bumps. Everything went perfectly fine. No need to slow down or anything. Yeah, bikes will bikes perfect we're not pedaling at all here we're just coasting because it's a bit of a downhill road so yeah the battery the motor is not actually doing anything that's why we're above the speed limit or above the speed limit of the bike at, at pedal assist and then when i slow down just hit the pedal just hit hit the thing about a couple of times pedal a couple of times the motor cuts in gets me going again and then we coast back up to speed yeah, solid, solid bike. Feels really, really solid. So no, no, bat, uh, rat no, no rattling from the battery or anything like that. Pedals feel great. The handlebars feel great. Um, feels really good. Even on my sewer on the battery rattles uh, over bumps and stuff like this on this bike is nothing. Solid. So yeah, we're gonna stop now in a minute. We're at forty-five percent battery now. 46, sorry. We've got this little hill here. It's one little last hill and then we're going to stop. I'll give you the battery readout. And then, yeah, we're going to cycle back home. I'm not going to film that bit, but yeah, we'll cut it off here. I'm about three miles away from my house now, so we'll cycle back home. Um, and then I'll give you a back read out when we get back home see how it did after a number three for it's about three miles anyway something like that i might take a shortcut I might take a little detour it might end up being longer but yeah but roughly about three miles i'd say so yeah we're back up at 46 percent now when i stop when i stop here bike is at 45 percent didn't really lose any charge on the way back did a couple of miles so one thing I didn't talk about was as soon as you touch the brakes the motor will cut out so you can still pedal but the motor, the motor won't do anything as soon as you get as soon as you let go of the brake yeah as soon as you let go of the brake the motor will cut back in brake it'll cut out as soon as you let go of the brake, the motor cuts back in. So, yeah, that's another thing I forgot to mention. Another thing, I, I don't know if I mentioned it or not now, but there is a USB port underneath the speedo there. That you can plug your phone in charger or whatever charger into, which is handy. So, yeah got back up to 46 now so yeah the battery the battery power obviously keeps jumping up and down depending on how you're riding it um it went down to 43 for a while now it's gone back up to 46 so it might not be a hundred percent accurate at the moment but once you leave it and not using it it goes back to what it actually is i think but when you're using it obviously it it's finding it hard to find the actual percentage because uh, it has to keep cutting in and out of what of the of the power what we're using. So yeah, 
We'll take it out. I'll bring it out in the evening. Uh, I want to test out what this light's like. Unfortunately, it, it doesn't have the rear light anymore. That would be nice to see what that is like at, at night. It, it isn't a brake light. It doesn't have an integrated brake light. It's just a rear light. Um, so yeah, we'll come out in a, few, in a couple of hours when it's dark. Um, have a little ride in the dark in the garden. I don't think we're going to go back out on the on the roads again. Uh, I think that'll do for today. We'll we'll go back out in the, in the evening. Have a little ride in the garden. Uh, run down run down the battery a bit more. And see what it's like. In a bit. Guys, we we'll just come out at night to see what the uh, what the bike, what the light is like at night, what the light is like at night. So that is the screen. That's up nice and bright. You see that? If you hold up, you hold the up arrow down for a couple of seconds. The light comes on on the front, and it will do on the back as well when 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 the back light is installed. So. Just have a little look, see what the light is like. So as you can see the the light is actually pretty good. Does a pretty pretty it does a really good job actually of, of lighting up what the road in front of you. It's plenty bright enough. Stand down. Yeah, it's plenty bright enough, I think. Um, yeah, so the light is the light is very good. So I'm just going to go back inside. I'm going to give you lot my final thoughts and recommendations on the bike. See you in a sec. So guys, we're back inside. Uh, there was a couple more things I wanted to show you before I give you my final thoughts. Uh, if you press the M button in the middle there, it changes so that will show you your current voltage, the current, uh, the amount of time that it's been on since you last turned, like when you last turned it on, and the amount of miles the bike has actually done. So I'm going to give you my final thoughts my verdict on the bike and would I recommend it so I think it is a very 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 good bike for the price for the price it is pretty unmatchable there are other bikes that you could probably buy second hand that, that, that would match it but for the componentry that you're getting like the Bafang motor, the Shimano gears the zoom brakes um, the, the really high grade, high grade battery all of that sort of stuff, for that sort of stuff, you know, you're going to struggle to find for this sort of price. Um, my thoughts on the actual components and stuff, the motor's great, the gears are great, the brakes are really good, the brakes are actually pretty similar to the brakes on my Sauron, to be honest. Um, didn't have any troubles with any of it, or felt tight, or felt solid. Uh, probably the, the worst part would probably be the front suspension, to be honest. Um, it's, it does the job, it's, it, don't get me wrong, it does the job um, perfectly well, but it could be slightly better. The screen, all of that functionality, these grips, these grips with the um, extended palm bits are, are amazing, I love them. I think every bike I get from now on will have grips like that. And the saddle, like I said that previously, this is the upgraded saddle, this isn't the one that comes with the standard bike, that you can upgrade it for this on their website. I would highly, highly, highly recommend you uh, get the upgraded saddle, uh, it, makes, it makes the world a difference. Uh, if I get this bike, I'm definitely getting that. Um, there are a few upgrades that you can get on their website that I had a look at, so you can actually get a um, suspension saddle, um, fork, um, tube, sorry. You can get a seat that actually has suspension in that tube there. Um, and you can get the panniers, the rack. Um, there's a few other bits and bobs. If you're interested, go have a look at the website. Um, I have an affiliate link, uh, which I'm going to post below. So if you are interested in buying this bike, please go through my link because it helps me out, helps me do more of these videos. Um, yeah, I would. So yeah, would I recommend it? <laughs> yeah, I would. I would definitely recommend it. 
if you haven't got over a grand to spend, um, if that's your budget, you know, if you've only got a thousand pounds to spend, this is this is the bike. It is amazing. It's really really good. Um, they do free test rides. If you get on the website, you can you can book a free test ride to ride the bike if you're in really interested in buying it because they don't want people to buy the bike unless they are comfortable buying it. So yeah, give the video a like if you're not subscribed to my channel. Sub, hopefully I'll be doing more reviews like this as well coming up in the future. Uh, I'm going to have more videos on the Suron coming up very soon. Uh, tell me your thoughts in the comments as well. Please leave a comment what you think about the bike. Um, and any questions you have about the bike as well, leave them in the comments. I'll, I'll try and answer everything that I can. And I think that is it for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care and peace.